what do you want to do first? What do you do like to smell? Do you want to smell smoky um, uh, and and tobacco-y things, or the festival fragrances, or have an unboxing of citruses, or even I've got I've got an unboxing video of the unusual variety to do, and also I've got Kylie Minogue's darling. Um. Let's do festival fragrances first. Okay. This may well turn into three different films, is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Let's spray them onto the broad strips. So once upon a time, I can't even remember where the idea came from now. But RRP was first. And... We had to buy 250 ml bottles because the 200s ran out because there's a shortage of recycled plastic. Which is ironic. Who'd have thought it? I know. It's got a little click. It's a safety thing. And I'm just trying to make it unsafe. <laughs> I just bottle this one. So, right, so. Right. RRP, Rose Rhubarb Peppermint, first of the festival fragrances. I had this idea for things to represent sort of British summertime and what we could, what we would smell like in summer. And to put them on top of this base of materials which all around sort of 1920s, 1910s, 1920s, I created this base for them all to sit on from, well there's oak moss and labdanum, there are musks, synthetic ones of course, not animal ones which would have been used at the time, and other things which make the fragrances last, oh bergamot, because that helps with the projection, and ambrox to replace ambergris. So it's in the style of 1920s sort of travelling cologne. And then I thought, well, I'll take that and I'll customise it with different tops. So, hmm. I, because Guerlain had this thing called a Guerlainade, which they would build fragrances on top of and they had a certain style. So I thought I'd do a, I think Jacques named it, the choose dad. <laughs> um, uh, and, you know, you've seen these before, the, um, the travelling colognes, because this is all linked to your, your bain de mm -hmm. uh, marchand as well, mm -hmm. um, that when people were travelling, they would take serious bottles of cologne with them and wash it all over. Now, to stop this one breaking, because this is glass underneath there, obviously it's all wrapped in what actually is that straw so like mm. Mm. so that's a big basket work thing uh to stop breaking because if you go to a festival you can't take glass because if it breaks you know when they let the cows and sheep back into the field it's not good so you don't take glass so we've got them in recycled plastic and this idea sort of developed that i would have them for people who are going to be Traveling, it's gone mm -hmm. dark in here. Um, mm -hmm. So that's like a a, a six-person tent worth of mm -hmm. weekend spray yourself when there aren't showers or they cost too much or the queues are too long. And then this is more like a four-person tent's worth. And then you've got the just put it in your backpack, and they're not very heavy. Um, I'll tell my accountant about this because I registered another limited company, and he said that his team all thought it was a terrible idea to encourage people to wash less often <laughs> and just spray themselves. But I remember even like in the 70s when uh, that was a very French thing to do, when we, we did our French exchange thing, mm -hmm. the French students all bought big bottles of cologne with them and would spray them all over and then mop themselves down, Roger and Galais and all that stuff. And of course, it's very cleansing because it's essential oils and ethanol. And and the British were all saving up to have a bath two, time, two times a week, you know. And uh, there was this, uh, with this two completely different traditions, one of 
oh, that's not too bad, I'll spray some stuff on. That'll get me through another couple of days. Or the, oh, I must smell of absolutely nothing, I must scrub myself. I think it's very, it's very kind of puritanical thing to wash yourself until you're like practically raw and don't smell at all of a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But practically speaking, no, we talked about this. Yeah, I agree. The, they're not, they're not, um, not using up so much water, especially hot water. Very, very on um, ecologically sound heating up water. Mm -hmm. It's all right if you got your. Um, your cells, your batteries, panels, solar panels on the rhubarb. So RRP, I've got this, they've got the base. It's rose rhubarb peppermint. And this one has, that, that's this is the last we've got, batch one, it's sold out. So I'm not sure you can smell that much rose. There's a lot of rose in mm. there. I think you can. Can you? I can, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you can. I, I can you, actually, oh, I was actually just thinking, I smell more rose than I can rhubarb. Oh, I'm pleased. Because you can definitely smell the rhubarb. Oh yeah. And the rhubarb does have this slight tang of smokable substances, which you can't mention, mm -hmm. them, otherwise YouTube won't let me monetize. Um, and then the peppermint is the Yakima peppermint, I think I pronounced it right this time, from the US, which is just it's particularly lovely. Uh, and I like putting that very refreshing. It's also supposed to Stop your head hurting, by the way, peppermint. Is it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, uh, I can't say that on the bottle, but it's a, um, um, mm. talking of brain fog. <laughs> you say, no, or, or just inability to remember anything. Uh, analgesic, that's the word I'm looking for. Painkiller, peppermint. So that's the first one. And then, once we called it RRP, which I thought was quite funny. But, well, what else for British summer? I, did I, I gave you a strip. Yeah. So what we have in the little bottle is, this is actually my favourite. I wonder why. Is it because you think it's got black currants in it? Do you yeah. think it's that? Yeah. Okay. So B-A-L, as in bal, which is of course French for dance as well. Isn't it also one of the... Um one of um, the devils, one of the devil, one of the fallen angels is Baal. Oh, he thinks he's got two A's, hasn't he? Baal. Yeah. yeah, so that would have to be black, not just because it's black currant, apple, lavender. It has so to be black currant, apple. apple. Amaris lavender, yeah. Mm. But yeah, the devil and all his works has no place here. <laughs> um, uh, have no place here. So yeah, black currant, of course, they love. So this has black. Current bud, mm. absolute, and lavender essential oil, and uh, black currant cassis space three four five B, which smells almost more black currant-y than black currant, and the apple. Well, the reason you can't make it out of apples, so I used a material called fructolate, which is a molecule that somehow manages to smell of. Raspberry and apple at the same time. Mm. So, this is, I think, also it's purple. Mm -hmm. So, I think this one is currently my favourite. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. And these are all officially launching at the Also Festival at our scent tent this summer. But, um, Viola Levy, who you know, who mm -hmm. you know, uh, who is, she writes for The Independent and Vogue and things, and she came to our pop-up not shop and discovered them, and she actually put this one in The Independent as one of the top 20 summer scents. Uh, so we had to launch them, <laughs> which is good, because I wasn't sure when it was coming out, and it came out, so well, I'll get them on the website. Yeah. And of course, the, we've got to talk about the typography because this is done by Sarah Hindman of Type Tasting who is well I'm very fortunate she's my mate um, <coughs> Professor Charles Spence introduced us and he goes Font Sarah meet Sense Sarah Sense Sarah meet Font Sarah you've got to work together so we finally found out a way so this it's 
They're, they're all in the style of sort of a, a American wanted posters from the 1860s or so, mm -hmm. which were then used for festival posters in the 1970s. And the, in, the aromas themselves are kind of represented by the different shapes of the fonts that Sarah has used. So I'm kind of honoured about this. Um, mm. Amy thinks that the reason that uh, MCK is her favourite, because that's mandoro, which is uh, citrus essential oil, cedar, and kumquat, which is a citrus essential oil. But she thinks that lots of people haven't heard of mandoro and kumquat, which is why they haven't. And the reason it's MCK, it's kind of muk, which is what you also get at festivals. It's, it's a little bit. Yeah, I know, here you go, sorry. Mm -hmm. But I'm quite happy mm. with them. Mm. Oh yeah, that's my favourite as well. Yeah. You can't go wrong with a bit of citrus woods, I think. Oh um, yeah. So, I might do a special every year, but I, I think I'll try and behave myself and just keep it to three for the moment. Go ahead. And they're at um, like all the all the toilette strength, so just so you know, like twenty. Oh. <laughs> Twenty-five, fifty, forty. <laughs> It'll do you good. <laughs> oh, I must immediately have some of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> good. Well, um. Oh, that is really... I haven't stopped and smelt that one yet. Wow, really good. Well, that's excellent. I'm pleased. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny... You, yeah. Wow. It's, it's, it, it does make you go... This, I mean, it's citrus fruit. Citrus fruits just make people go... Bing! Yeah, but... <laughs> I like that. But it's not that. It's also creamy. Mm -hmm. And also, it's, it's quite... Um, it just smells of being on holiday. I just feel like I'm on holiday. Good. It's really good, really good. nice. I think we just have to... I also love kumquats. Yeah, strange things. Very strange it's things. Like, yeah. I like strange things. Good at eating. Well, we all like strange things. It's why we're here. Oh, yeah. So, um, that's it for Festival Fragrances then, I think. I just wanted to explain how they'd come into being and what I made them with. Um, great. The, wonderful idea. I agree. People need to wash less and then we will make the one which is the rather more expensive one especially created but it's the same same principle for riding a horse into a battle for several months we will I am producing that one for you more of it because I know that you want some so the, the special the special Arthur traveling Napoleon mm -hmm. <laughs> is also coming out but these are going to be out for Festivals. Should do, yeah, bring bring it out when the film comes out. Yeah.